Hi everybody, it's Dr. Roll again with lesson two on counting to 100. Are you ready to explore numbers from zero all the way to 100 with me again? Here's the important thing I want you to always remember. When engaged in a math lesson, you have to be a big thinker. You have to think like a detective and detectives pick up on all the clues and they pay attention to all the details. So this is your job today. Are you ready? What you're expected to learn in this lesson. By the end of the lesson, you should be able to use the skill of counting to fill in missing numbers on a 100 chart. You should also be able to identify which number is greater in a set of two numbers. And finally, identify which number is least in a set of two numbers. Are you up for this learning challenge? Put on your thinking cap, screw it on nice and tight, and turn on the wheels in your mind. Here, I have something for you to think about. Let's read it together. Mr. Roll sells 45 counts, and Mr. Smith sells 54 counts. Hmm, who do you think has the most counts? Who do you think has the least count? And how do you know? What you need to do to figure out who has the most count is count to 100. Now look at this number chart. We have all the numbers from one all the way to 100. The two numbers that we're thinking about are 45 and 54. If we count all the way to 100, we know that we would say 45 long before we say 54. So you see how they try to trick you? They use the exact same numbers, but they flip them. One number was 45 and the other was 54. Which number is first? That's right, 45 is first. And which number is second? You're right, 54. 54 comes after 45. So that means that 54 is bigger than 45. So that means then, Mr. Smith sold the most conk. He had four conks sold that day. Mr. Roll sold the least conk because he sold a smaller amount of conk, which was 45. Do you get it? I hope so. Just so you remember, I want you to count along with me, okay? I'm gonna sing Super counters, are you ready? And you're gonna shout, yes, yes, I am ready. Are you ready? Super counters, are you ready? Super counters, are you ready? Let's go, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15,
15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Do you remember at the beginning when I asked you to think like a detective? When I asked you to use your detective skills to find things, to use clues? Well, here's how you're going to do this. There are quite a bit of numbers missing from this number chart. And your job is going to be to find out which numbers are missing. There are some numbers that come before the missing numbers and some numbers that come after the missing numbers. Put on your thinking caps, think about it, and let's see how many numbers you can put in place over the next few minutes. Once you're done, we'll move on and you'll get to see all the numbers in their places then you'll know if you were correct. Get busy. Here's the chart again with all the missing numbers added. How many did you get correct? Give yourself a big juicy kiss because you're super smart. You remembered that to figure out which numbers are missing, all you have to do is count. And this time we counted all the way to 100. I'm proud of you and you should be proud of yourself. 
But just before I go, I have one more challenge for you. Are you ready? I'm thinking of a number. My number comes before 55, but after 53. Think about that. My number comes before 55, but after 53. What is my number? Do you remember the numbers and the clues that I gave you? Do you have on your thinking cap? Is it screwed on nice and tight? One more time. My number comes before 55, but after 53. What is my number? Go ahead, think about it. I'm back. Well, if you said 54, you are absolutely right. And you should give yourself a big hug. I want you to grab someone to help you with this one. It could be mommy, it could be daddy, it could be Grammy or grandpa or whoever it is that's home with you and wants to join in, okay? Your job is going to be to choose a number. Then you're gonna think of clues, just like the clues I just gave you to help them guess your number. So you would have to use the words before, and after. So you have to be a big thinker. You have to know which number comes before your number and which number comes after your number. Did you get them? Are you ready? I'm going to explain the rules to both of you now. You have to choose a number. Think of clues to help that person guess your number. So you're gonna use words like before and after. So you have to know which number comes before your number and which number comes after your number. And the person you chose has to guess the number. Are you all ready? Can you get it done? Well, go ahead. Okay, here's how you're going to work on your own. Try some by yourself. Follow the links below. Do you see the red word G-A-M-E? That spells game. You're going to click on the hyperlink below and you're going to play a game for a while. You're going to count and type in the number that you counted. Once you've done that for a bit, you're going to come back to this slide, find the word worksheet in blue, W-O-R-K-S-H-E-E-T and click the hyperlink there. But you'll need someone to help you. Someone is going to have to print out your worksheet for you and you will write the numbers that are missing. Remember, I have told you today that you count to help you find the missing number. So you will count numbers from zero all the way to 100 to help you to decide which numbers are missing from your worksheet. Well, I had a good time with you today and I hope you had a good time with me. We're gonna be working together for a bit longer over the next few weeks. Good luck, see you soon.